Thank you for stopping by. I'm just going to show you how I take my photos. I am not a professional photographer. I don't claim to be one, but um, I have gotten some questions about how I take my photos, so I wanted to show you how. I always work, almost always, on white paper with my clay. I do this because um, the glass that I have, glass is kind of cold and it might uncondition the clay faster, make it harder to work with. So whenever I'm working with white or I want to take a photo, I just remove the top layer of paper and that leaves us with a nice lint-free, hopefully, sheet of paper to take our photographs on. So that's how I start. Second, I try to figure out what position I want my charm to be in. And then, um, lighting during time of the day, I usually like early morning hours um, and then mid-afternoon hours. Oh, I don't have a card. Here we go. So I am pointing, putting my card in my photo, um, my photo card in my camera. Now the camera that I have is um, a Sony NEX. It's not the newest. The thing that is special about my camera is the lens that cost just as much, if not more, expensive than the camera. The lens, I think, was $275. I had to save up for it. But that is what makes the difference with my photos. I don't know if we're going to get a good image here. But my camera is now probably about... I'm just trying to judge from behind the camera here but my camera um, taking that photo right there I was probably about an inch and a half away from the food that's how close up the macro lens allows me to get I take some photos in natural light some um, the other ones I like I have a daylight bulb I'm going to unplug it here. So I have a daylight bulb. And I position it to get some interesting light and play shadows. I'll probably use this particular photo that I just took for the actual um, cover shot. I'll move my alt light in different positions to try to catch different lights and I'll take a couple different angles. I often will take 20 photos to get the five that I like um, to get the five that I like on my listing page on Etsy. Now um, I would suggest you find your own style um, since miniatures are so tiny I find the white paper is just fine oftentimes something that you don't um, see because it's not close when I'm using my alt light I also have my normal lights on because they have a yellow cast and help offset the blue from the daylight bulb I'm going to throw this on a necklace here sorry about my nails I'm gonna be getting them done in a couple days and I start picking off the foods um, so my nail guy doesn't have to work so hard. There we go. So I often just kind of try to arrange the chain in a so it will show in the picture. Sometimes I like that having a little bit of chain. Um, so I also something because this is a macro lens. Um, you can move it closer and further until you find what exactly you want it to focus on. But a lot of times things that are just even slightly further away will be fuzzy. But um, my key to success is the macro lens. It's nothing else. Like I said, I'm not a photographer. Um, I use the regular light bulbs in my house when I use my daylight bulb. Um, I have an alt light, but that's the one that I had um, sideways here. 
I had another one that was better, but um, it broke, and this was my replacement for it. But I just put it in different positions around. As I take pictures, I have it on one side. Sometimes I put it on the other. Sometimes I have it straight over, and I just balance it with one hand while I take pictures with the other hand. And usually about 20 pictures or so, I find the five that I like best, and that's what I put up. So that's exactly how I do mine. Um, but usually it's not looking like something else, like somebody else that's going to make an item of your of your cells. But um, you should try to find your own individual individuality within um, the techniques. You can feel free to use mine. I like mine on a white background. There's also something um, called PhotoFuse. PhotoFuse, uh, they have free and paid for and uh, it's a really good program and that actually makes it white white um, sometimes it will have a gray or a blue cast my white paper even though it's a white background so if you're looking for a true white background and you don't have a photo box or you don't want to make a photo box um, try photo fuse it's, um, like I said, some of the applications on it are free, and then um, to unlock more stuff that you can do, I believe that there's some payment or, or donation that you can do. I personally prefer um, my photos like this. I find the bright white background is too harsh. PhotoFuse may actually be able to do a black background for you now too, but it's where you literally go around your um, object with some of their editing tools and then everything else is bright white. I heard that they were going to start doing black, but I haven't played with it in probably a year and a half, so I'm not sure if they offer that or not. I just heard that that was in the works. Um, so. I hope that this was helpful to you. You could go ahead and ask me any other questions. Since I'm taking photos, I'll probably do a um, making a listing video on Etsy. So I'll probably try to have that up tonight or tomorrow if I can. Uh, thank you so much. If you're wanting more videos, please subscribe. Let me know what it is you would like to see and what you have an interest in. Um, take care.